Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another video. A lot of people have been asking me how I took this photo. So today I decided we're gonna do a video and teach you how to take photos like this. Let's hit it and kick it. So this is called a multiple exposure or double exposure image and the trick with these are you've got to work around with the shadows and the highlights to play very well into your image. So this shot was taken obviously uh, in a close up. The first shot was taken as a close up of this couple and then secondly uh, you can see that I took a wider angle shot and put them in the shadow part there. So what we're going to look at is how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to turn your camera on and then you want to go to the artistic function mode then scroll across to the right and hit multiple exposure once you hit that turn that on and go to on function control then you want to go down and that will allow you to pick more than two exposures or two I like to use two then you want to hit save all images. This will save all three images rather than just one multiple exposure. Then what you can do is you can take the photo for your first shot or you can hit the select image for multiple exposure, scroll through all your images you've previously taken, maybe one that you used a lot of shadow or silhouette in, and hit select. Once you hit select and OK, that image will then be used for multiple exposure. If you hit live view, you can see that image and that allows you to look at it and move yourself around and recompose yourself to get the shot. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you move around and find the area or find the next image you want to be able to use to layer over the top don't let your model wait around for too long because then she'll get bored but move around and recompose your second shot so I roped in a friend of mine to help me out her name is Taryn so uh, let's jump out into the field not in the field I guess it's not a field it's not a reporter let's jump into the street with the video so we're gonna do some photography photographing and this is my friend Taryn Hi. she's gonna be the model for the day we've worked together before yeah but it wasn't bad it was, it was good. I was a bad one. Let's <laughs> <laughs> take some photos. So with multiple exposures, the darker part of the image is what will actually bring out the detail in the second shot over the top. So a lot of people choose to make a silhouette their first image, which then allows the second shot to show through in the silhouette. I generally prefer to have not a full silhouette, but some very, very darker shadows in the image to allow it to become uh, that multiple exposure magic so quite often what I'll do is I'll underexpose the original shot just enough that you will be able to have the shadows and the underexposed areas to play with so as you can see in these images here the before and afters uh, the second shot shows up through those underexposed areas some people prefer like I said silhouettes to completely blow out the background I find if you just have a white wall or enough of a uh, lightened background it makes it work perfectly 
guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a huge like below, smash the like button, and also hit that subscribe button too. Really helps me out. I post videos every single Wednesday, or Thursday if it's a little bit late, sorry. Whoops. Hello? Hey. <laughs> no, no, um, can I give you a call back in like, Five, ten minutes, I'm just kind of filming a video currently, and you're like interrupting. Yep. No, like you literally interrupted. Yeah, cool. Alright, I'll call you back. Bye. Sorry about that. It uh, really helps me and really appreciate your love and support. If you want to know any questions about how I did this or have any questions about editing or shooting this itself, please hit me below with those and I will do my best to answer. But also, follow me on Instagram where you can ask any question at any time and I shall answer. Uh, see you next week.